one of our finishing touches is to install the vent pieces. These are insert fittings and we're just going to stick them right in these holes that we drilled way back in step one. The vent piece is screened to prevent any insects or leaves from entering your system. The spigot is one of the last things we do because we can really customize it to our needs once we see how the system is all put together. If you're going to be filling buckets, you might consider elevating your spigot using a couple of L's. Just keep in mind that once the water level drops below the level of your spigot in the tanks, your spigot will dry up. In this case, we're lucky enough to be located uphill from our irrigation area, so we can attach the spigot here at ground level and use a hose to get the water by gravity feed down to the garden. I'm going to insert the slip fitting at at least 90 degrees from where I want the spigot to end up so that I can get my quarter turn in as I insert the fitting. All right. Next, we're going to install a drip irrigation connection for the blue barrel system. Rainwater harvesting and drip irrigation are really a good match because drip doesn't require any pressure. It does require a filter though, and that's what this is. This T has a 100 micron filter in it, and that will keep any particulates at all from clogging up your drip line. And I'm going to use a male adapter to connect this hose shed off to the rest of my plumbing. Okay. So when we built our manifold, we thought ahead to include a tee-off between these two barrels for our drip irrigation connection. To use a drip system, we'll simply switch on the shutoff valve and then water will shoot out here. Now this piece just screws straight on and this is the adapter that connects directly to your half inch drip irrigation main line right here. Voila!